How to manage a software development project. In this video, we'll discover the top project management methods for software development, how you can implement them with your team, and best practices for project success. If you are new here, welcome to my consulting channel. I am Michael Tadros, the professor. I have a diversified experience for many years working as a project manager for Agile, Scrum, Lean and conventional projects, as well as a consultant for startup businesses and entrepreneurs. Now, if you are ready to know the top project management methods for software development, let's get to it. Every system, whether hardware, software, or a combination of the two, go through a development life cycle. The purpose of the life cycle is to guide complex processes with an aim to expedite development while avoiding costly mistakes. A system development life cycle, or the SDLC, is essentially a phase project model that defines the organizational constraints of a large-scale systems project. The methods used in a system development life cycle strategy provide clearly defined phases of work to plan, design, test, deploy, and maintain information systems. A system development life cycle provides a clear view of the entire project, like personnel involved, resource requirements, timeline, and objectives to deliver at each phase. Sets cost and staffing decisions based on concrete information and prioritization provides deliverable that meets design and development standards for each step of the project, gives developers a measure of control through iterative phased approach, improves the quality of the final system and milestones along the way. Let's talk about agile software development. Many organizations have experienced success in meeting customer demands by adopting agile for software development. This iterative approach for the design and development of software embraces constant change and allows teams to break phases down into smaller segments to more frequently deliver working software. The Agile Software Development Project Manager manages the work of the development team and helps the team stay on track to deliver regular software iterations. At the beginning of the sprint, the development team decides what they can accomplish in the time frame to deliver working software that can be installed at the end of the sprint. And the coming are some of the best practices for implementing agile software development. Hold constant daily stand-up meetings to maintain communication, hold team members accountable, and keep iterations moving forward. Deliver live demonstrations of the final product of each iteration to show progress to key stakeholders. Share feedback from stakeholders and customers with the entire development team before the next iteration begins. And continually improve your process based on feedback received to ensure each iteration improves the next. You can check other videos here in my channel explaining agile project management and what types of projects using this approach. Continuous software development involves testing, updating, releasing, and measuring applications in a continual rhythm as they are under development. Users play a critical role here in continuous integration by acting as beta testers who contribute to the evolution of a product by giving feedback. Software development organizations must continually find ways to stay ahead of the competition through commit code frequently. Address broken builds immediately. Automate testing like unit functional, regression, integration, etc. Ensure integration tests pass to continue into the next phase. Run private code builds and avoid broken codes. Continuous delivery also is a critical component of successful software development projects practice. By structuring continuous delivery, a team can fulfill the requirements for successful development environments. The benefits of continuous delivery are similar to the expected benefits of successful development teams, which are better reaction time to customer demands, advanced reliability of systems, reduced project risks with emphasis on shared risk, visible cost accountability practices, improved flexibility for developers, accessibility to teams of all sizes and resource levels, enhanced culture of collaboration, and efficient staffing and workforce management practices. 
Now, I believe you have a good idea about the top project management methods for software development, how you can implement them with your team, and best practices for project success. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave your feedback or comments below. I will be more than happy to reply and assist you. Don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share this video with others to obtain the knowledge that you have been able to attain. I look forward to talking to you at my next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.